What's cracking, everybody? This is the Carter 117, aka Hodor, your boy. So, after creating a bunch of videos on some Overwatch configurations and everything like that, I figured I would try this type of setup out. So, I'm gonna make a four-part series about how to do, how to actually set the settings within your Elite controller, so that way I can make it easier to show you all of the other configurations through all the many games that I play. First things first, we're going to start with the basics. So choosing configuration and creating a configuration. Now you want to go to your Xbox Accessories app, which is located under My Games and Apps, um, but I already have it up on the main screen. So I'm enter it. It's going to show up with your controller, and then what you want to do is hit configure. Now, in order to assign a game configuration to one of the two save slots, all you need to do is just go down to one of them, anyone you want, and then hit A, and then you can either save to slot 1 or slot 2. You're able to edit the configurations, copy it, rename it, and delete it from here. So once you do that, you can just hit save to slot 1. So I just saved DS3, which is Dark Souls 3, or Rage Souls 3, to the first slot. Now, in order to create a new configuration, what you need to do is go up one and then hit new configuration. It'll prompt you for to do a name. So we're gonna we're just gonna put in some gibberish here. Well, we'll just put test. Okay, and then we'll start you with the next step within the process. Check out my next video where I'm gonna talk about how to map the buttons on the controller. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe if you like the video. Thanks, guys. I'm out.